but you know it's got a nice strong features. The only thing that wouldn't suit you would be an afro. Well, the punks are impressed. My day today has been amazing. It started off with and uh, trying on a few outfits, one of which was rather traumatic. After that, oh my goodness, my hair. I went to Dylan Bradshaw's salon and uh, that was very nerve wracking for me, the hair thing. I'm not used to having short hair and uh, so uh, getting it dyed and cut all in one day was a big, big deal for me. The cut. Well, Dylan distracted me. He told me he cut you two's hair. And I was like, well, you can do anything you like with my hair. But good enough for Bono and the boys. Tomorrow is the big day. I find out what Graham's rustled up for me to be a pogue again. And uh, it's going to be a big day. I think it'll be really good training for the tour. I think it's just absolutely what I need to actually just get over the butterflies and the self-consciousness and just say, for goodness sake, woman, just go out and do your job and stop being in such a flap. Enjoy it. The day has dawned. It's time for Koch to strut her stuff. But has the style team succeeded? Has Graeme come up with a look fit for punk royalty and the Pogues? The principle of how the outfits are put together are very rock and roll. So there's lots of sparkle, lots of bling, and lots of really pretty clothes mixed with hard things. So it's a mix of the sort of masculine shapes with sort of feminine detail, which is kind of in some ways a nod to what Koch would have done with Pogues originally. It's goodbye to the old and hello to the new Koch Reardon. For interviews and press and stuff, and you've got these really long skinny trousers um, with a little metallic detail on the back. So this is a great colour and really, really works on it. And it's got this cute little sequined rodent detail. Dropping those tresses helped Dylan transform Koch. I said to her in the nicest possible way that it was a bit mullety at the time, so <laughs> the layers were quite short. So we really needed to bring the, the length up just to catch somewhere in the middle with the layers, so it made it easier for Koch to, um, to manage the hair. Rather than having that kind of hairdressery colour that you can see coming from down the road, we just kind of intensified the, the colour. So when she's on stage, basically, when they catch the light, you'll see a lot more richness to it. Basically, it's going to be a very easy style to manage. You just take the dryer, blast it upwards into it to help it create the kick, and then work it that way. A little bit of product just to break it up, and that's it. And what will Koch wear on the tour bus? Well, for, for Koch, for daytime, we kind of did a little variation of a t-shirt and jeans, just to ease her into her new wardrobe. For the stage look, I smoldered the eyes with golden brown and a hot copper. Then I took a black pencil and I rimmed the inside of the eye. Finally, lashings of black waterproof mascara, which really gave a rock star bling. I ended with a bronzer that really shaped the face, and then I kept the lips pretty neutral. So we've got two different outfits for Koch for stage. So we've got this dress, which is very Debbie Harry. It's very sort of old school rock and roll slash disco, very Studio 54. And Graham's final choice to woo the crowds. This is the killer stage outfit. We talked about sequins and bling, and there couldn't be any more sequins or bling in this. The 
because of the shape of the skirt, it's got a really nice swing on it. So it will move really, really nice on stage and pick up lots of light. Waiting for Danny the girl to sing a song to me beneath the marquee of a soul. By the way, I've tried to say I know you from before. Standing in line to see the show tonight and now the line. My main tip for a Koch and also for everybody when they're dressing is just to find things you like and wear them your way. It's fashions about being an individual and having fun. Waiting for so I suppose there's probably a lot of things that you've learned from this, but what stands out the most? Oh my gosh. What stands out the most is that even if you think you need to be comfortable, and I do need to be comfortable, you can be comfortable and just look stunning. Mm. That's the big lesson for me, because I can apply that to every day of the rest of my life. So a little posing lesson for when you're having paparazzi pics taken. <laughs> if you stand with your feet kind of shoulders width apart right. and throw all of your weight onto one hip, and you can then just kind of, you know, sling it down in your jeans pocket, thinking, hey, look at me, rock star. Look at you, rock star. You're the original rock star. I'm so overawed with um, admiration for seeing professionals doing their job. And just from my own personal level, I feel not even 100% more confident. I feel like a different person now. I, was, I still have the butterflies in the tummy, but man, bring it on. I'm so ready to rock. <laughs> Yay, I love it. What if a true punk queen? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> the team got the punk look spot on, but tonight's the night for the big gig in the point with the Pogues, and Koch has to recreate the look all on her lonesome. With no Christine, Dylan or Graeme to guide her, how will she get on? And that's what a 40-year-old punk looks like. <laughs> Come in! Whoa, hello. whoa, whoa. Hello. Like great. Skirt. Yeah. It's a bit swirly. I think it's great. Not that there's anything wrong with the old look, but <laughs> it's fantastic. And what do you think is the difference? Um, well, it's just the sort of the, sort of the glitter and the sparkle, which is, um, it's always been, it's always been there, but now she's wearing it as well as just um, exuding it. You're such a poet. <laughs> A confident, sexy woman ready to woo those crowds. And for details on how Koch achieved her new look, check out her website, www.rte.ie forward slash off the rails. <laughs>